welcome to this enlarged tutorial. As promised a, um, a couple of videos ago, I said that I was going to start showing you how to make some um, transitions that you could do yourself that are not the stock transitions. Let me show you what I mean by stock transitions. I've got two video clips here in my timeline. Um, same person dancing, doing some crazy dancing stuff. And if I select the split in the middle where I've split the, um, split the video, um, it pops up along the bottom with all my um, stock transitions so you can have dissolve virus out you can read them along the bottom quite easy and let me just select fade just to show you give you a demonstration so this is just gonna fade in and fade out and I can adjust the length of that fade with the slider at the bottom I have done a quick transitions um, video previously I'll link that at the top of the screen now for you so I'm just gonna select none but what we want to do is um, create our own really cool transitions and today I'm going to show you how to create a light or a lens flare transition going from one clip to the next it's really simple to do um, and I'll show you how to do that now so I'm, um, I'm at the main screen here I've got my video clip where I want it um, where I want it to be and then I'm gonna go into these effects tab at the bottom and then once I've gone to effects I'm gonna go to lens flare now this opens up a lens flare um, on top of my timeline so you can see the lens flare here and if I pinch and squeeze it goes smaller and larger and I can move it with my finger if I um, just grab and it, it, it affects the, the, the flare. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, drag this lens flare out so it's about um, a second if you look at the time at the top it's um, my split is roughly, I'm not going to be perfect here but my split is roughly on five seconds there or thereabouts so I'm going to do roughly a second either side of my video clip so you see I've got a second this side of this clip and then I've got a second this side roughly of this clip really simple so now what I'm going to do I am going to um, add some keyframes to this lens flare. First and foremost, I'm gonna just stretch the lens flare out a little bit like so, and put it right in the corner here. Go to the very start of the lens flare where it comes in, and click this little um, diamond in the bottom, the little plus, so I'm gonna click that. So that's started my first lens flare. Then when I get to the center where the split is, I want that lens flare to be in the center of my image, but I want it to have grown to almost, um, block out the background image or the background video clip and then I'm going to slide my video clip along to the end of where the lens flare comes out I'm going to move my lens flare to the left and make it smaller again um, and these will auto because I've started the um, the keyframe in the bottom you see it's auto keyframed it if you make a mistake you can click the little diamond and it will remove the keyframe you know that cause it's got a, a minus um, sign next to the diamond but that really is that simple and now if I play through my timeline I've made this nice lens flare or this light nice screen light that um, acts as a transition while it splits the clips like so so see really simple it starts on one clip you don't get to see what's happening or the split it just goes to the next clip and you've got this um, this girl doing some crazy dancing so that's really simple and if you're not happy with something like I said let's say we want this or this to be bigger we can click remove or let's say this we can click remove and we're back on the center where it splits we want it to be there we want it to be even bigger and then move along and then as we move along we want to go to the left and then fade that lens flare out like so. So now we don't get that little judder that we had that we're not completely happy with. We get this complete new um, covering the, um, the whole of the image with this um, with this lens flare. Hope that helps you out. I will learn loads more transitions that you can do with Video Leap. Really, really cool ones and some um, nice video effects that I will um, I'll show you in due course. Take care. Catch you soon.